Good morning. We have three readings this morning, and I just have to find them. I lost Isaiah. <laughs> I know he's in here. There he is. The first reading comes from Isaiah chapter 60, and it is about the glory of Zion. Arise, shine, for your light has come. The glory of the Lord rises upon you. See, darkness covers the earth, and thick darkness is over the peoples. But the Lord rises up upon you, and his glory appears over you. Nations will come to your light, and kings will to the brightness of your dawn. Lift up your eyes and look about you. All assemble and come to you. Your sons come afar, and your daughters are carried on the arm. Then you will look and be radiant, and your heart will throb and swell with joy. The wealth of the seas will be brought to you. To you, the riches of the nations will come. Herds of camels will cover your land, young camels of Midian and Ephah, and all of Sheba will come, bearing gold and incense, and proclaiming the praise of the Lord. Here is the reading. We have two gospel readings this morning, so please stay seated. <laughs> ah, I got you. <laughs> and the first one is very familiar. It's the, what we call the three wise men. We got three of them up there on the pulpit. I have a story at home that is a modern version of this reading that I'm about to read. If you want to learn about it, come Wednesday. I'm going to bring it up at Bible study. The visit of the Magi. Matthew chapter 2, starting with verse 1. After Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea, during the time of King Herod, Magi from the east came to Jerusalem and asked, Where is the one who has been born King of the Jews? We saw his star in the east and have come to worship him. When King Herod heard this, he was disturbed, and all of Jerusalem with him. When he, when he called together all the people's chief priests and teachers of the law, he asked them where the Christ was to be born. In Bethlehem in Judea, they replied, for this is what the prophet has written. But you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. For out of you will come a ruler who will be the shepherd of my people, Israel. Then Herod called the Magi secretly to and found out from them the exact time the star appeared. He sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and make a careful search for the child. As soon as you find him, report to me, so that I too may go and worship him. After they had heard the king, they went on their way, and the star they had seen in the east went ahead of them until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they were overjoyed. On coming to the house, they saw the child with his mother, Mary, and they bowed down and worshipped him. Then they opened their treasures and presented him with gifts of gold, of, of incense, and of myrrh. Here ends the first reading of the, apostle, or the gospel. The second gospel reading is from Matthew chapter 3. So we moved a whole chapter. And this is the baptism of Jesus. And it's chapter 3, verse 13. We start. Then Jesus came from Galilee to Jordan to be baptized by John. But John tried to deter him, saying, I need to be baptized by you, and, you, and do you come to me? Jesus replied, Let it be so now. It is proper for us to do this to fulfill all righteousness. Then John consented. As soon as Jesus was baptized, he went up out of the water. At that moment, heaven was opened, and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and lighting on him. And a voice from heaven said, This is my Son, whom I love. With him I am well pleased. Here ends the Gospel readings for today. <laughs> 